Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. The aliens are here. Full disclosure has happened. There's somebody, uh, you know, who's been uh, talking out of school. We're going to talk about the aliens. They're coming, ladies and gentlemen, tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the aliens are here, apparently. There's been a hearing uh, in the U.S. Senate. The very people have been telling you to kind of panic about coronavirus are now telling you to panic about aliens. So, you know, of course, the conspiracy community, myself included, is deeply sceptical, ladies and gentlemen, deeply sceptical. You know, now, um, what's going on? Okay, uh, why are they talking about this now? Well, you know, there's been a meme that's been fighting around during the coronavirus, and it's a group of aliens uh, sitting there, like, uh, kind of talking, like, oh, we're nervous, we're up next. Because there's been a, a theory uh, in the conspiracy community um, that they will use alien technology to kind of... Um, you know, I guess, um, fake uh, an alien attack upon humanity. And then, of course, the result of the attack will be humanity must form together under a one world government. Ring a bell, anybody? You know, from Oppenheimer and from uh, COVID, you know, to fight the aliens or do as the aliens say. I don't know how it will play out. But that's been the theory uh, for a long time that you know, that will actually happen. Of course, that, a lot of people have thought that sounds like complete rubbish, myself included, really. I thought. That doesn't sound like it will happen. But, you know, the fact that they're now coming out and saying the aliens are real is, you know, the kind of possible lead into this, you know, um, Project Blue Book, which is the kind of code word that uh, this project has been put under, apparently, Project Blue Book, um, you know, could use to kind of fake, um, uh, you know, some kind of alien attack upon humanity that then the globalists, you know, obviously it's going to be strange is that the aliens are going to have the exact same agenda as the World Economic Forum. Who, who ever knew? <laughs> So, look, I do believe that aliens are real. I do think that um, humanity has been visited probably at different times of, of its evolution by an alien species. And I imagine they don't um, land here that often the way that we don't go to, say, that North Sen Senegalese island where there's a group of savages who um, basically, if you land there on a boat, they throw spears at you and kill you. They are extremely xenophobic um, uh, group of people in North Senegal Island. And um, we don't go there. We just leave it as a little sanctuary for these primitive uh, tribe, and we leave them alone because it's like a kind of nature preserve. I imagine that's the way aliens view us. They think we're a bunch of savage assholes, which is not far from the truth. And um, you know, and they probably just look in every now and then. They pop down, you know, have a little look, flying in the UFO, do a little bit of probing there. They're up for a bit of probing. You got to look out for that. And um, you know, so I think that's what's going on. But I think maybe one of the, one or two of their spaceships. It's probably crashed, and I do believe America probably has one or two of them, and they probably have had an alien body. So, you know, maybe what some of what was being said in, in on the Senate floor was, uh, and in, in the inquiry, was correct. They, they that aliens are real, and that they have, you know, discovered some of the technology. But I do believe that they're going to use it for nefarious reasons. Um, you know, I do believe they've probably had this technology probably since the Ro Roswell incident, which is about you know seventy years ago now. And they've probably worked out how to use it now. And they've probably you know, developed all kinds of nonsense. So I think that's what's going on with all this. And uh, obviously, we do need to watch it and see what happens. And even the globalists themselves might think, look, people are not going to buy this. Um, you know, I have no idea if they are going to go ahead with a kind of Project Blue Book kind of fake alien invasion. But it's kind of interesting that um, there was a time conspiracy theorists believed in UFOs. And most people were like, no. Now normies are saying, UFOs are real, and everybody in the conspiracy uh, movement are going, no, they aren't. So, yeah, um, you know, is it real? Is it not real? I mean, you know, it, it's a very interesting question. I mean, to me, if aliens were real, why don't they just land on the White House lawn? Why don't they land inside the MCG or, you know, land during the, uh, you know, like Super Bowl? Something that, you know, like 100,000 people can see and no one could doubt. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know... I, do, I think they probably avoid the planet because we're a dangerous species. But I do think maybe they've crash landed and I do think they've, lived, uh, they've visited here for sure. So I think America had had access to, the, to this technology. And obviously the globalists, since they control America, uh, have access to this technology and they're interested in doing something with it. Exactly what it is, we don't know. Um, it is interesting, as I've noted before, the way that it used to be conspiracy theorists who believed in all this kind of UFO stuff. And now normies are believing it and we're doubting it. So that's a very interesting turn of events. But, you know, that's just the way it is. So we have to see what plays out with the aliens. You know, I don't know if they're coming. Maybe it's going to be a war of the world situation. And I don't know, maybe it is real. Maybe, um, you know, 
what they're saying is actually a full disclosure thing and maybe there is no plan for some you know fake alien invasion i mean that is a little far-fetched i admit but then you know i think what happened with COVID is fairly far-fetched what happened with september 11 is fairly far-fetched and what happened with Oppenheimer, you know, building the atom bomb, that was fairly far-fetched, you know, if you existed before 1945. But anyway, these things happen. So, you know, there it is. That's uh, the report from Tiger Mountain from Up in Paradise, Pierre Noosa, and I'll be back in Melbourne soon. So see you then.